Hello, good morning, guys. Uh, my name is Jonathan. Um, today is March second. I think right now it's like eight o'clock in the morning. Um, so for this video, I want to quickly show you guys um, if you guys have similar problem on your Ford Escape. So I have this uh, two thousand two thousand eight uh, Ford Escape uh, hybrid, and it's been over two two months now. My steering wheel start shaking. Um, at the beginning, uh, it started with small shake, um, mainly doing like stop and then also when your car is um, starting up when you turn it on. But now the shake got worse. Um, it starts shaking while you, I guess, vibration uh, while you are driving. So I want to quickly show you guys. So like I say, uh, this is a 2008 for escape hybrid um got like 200 over 200 something mile on it so when you put in the key in every minute let me turn off the video so it actually show you guys uh indications power steering will power steering assist fail and it actually doesn't really shake at this moment but when you try to I don't know if you see it now. Do you see that vibration? Left and right, left and right, jiggling. Um, so at the beginning, it was only um, shake when you start it up, but when you start driving, it actually stop. But now when you drive, it actually does this as well. So it's getting pretty bad and there's no way for me to um, uh, control it. I mean, I could control it by holding it tight, but it's getting pretty bad when you drive um so i actually uh so anyway i actually watch a youtube uh there was a gentleman that who does a lot of four four product uh four motor vehicle stuff like that and he was mentioning that is the one of the steering wheel sensor is broke or uh it's not working anymore so need to be replaced and uh, so i actually went online and bought the part he actually showed you guys how to um on his youtube he actually show you how to change it and all the procedure and like you have to open the you have to pretty much uh in order to fix it you pretty much have to take this whole steering wheel out and underneath they have like a you know t5 bolt and stuff like that but anyway let me show you the parts that i bought um this is the model number i guess so i had to put my leg there just to hold it so that it stop vibration um it looks something like this so when you open it, it have one of these. I think this is to align the sensor. And this is pretty much it. It actually go directly into the steering wheel, um, the rod itself. I, I don't know what, like the, the column. And then I heard that you have to adjust like by degree and few degree. It's complicated and it's very tedious. Um, so I decide not to do it myself. So I'm, I'm sorry guys, this won't be a fixer video or you know instructional video. It just kind of like inform, informative video about give you guys an idea like what's going on, what cost of it. But overall, um, I won't be working on it myself because when I, when I watched that video um, on YouTube, it was telling you how to fix it step by step. It looked like a lot of step, uh, um, very tedious and detailed work. like. I was saying that if you do it wrong, the sensor might break and then you have to get a new one. There's only uh, one chance of calibrate the sensor. And if you, if you pretty much, if you don't do it right, it's, it's, it's not going to be right. You, you probably need a new sensor. That's what I'm saying. So anyway, um, I didn't want to, you know, buy another one. Uh, the sensor itself, it costs roughly about $60 or something. You could get it from your local you know automotive store like variety and you know AutoZone and stuff like that uh, with Napa but yeah so I won't be doing it I found a local shop actually does it I went to uh, one of these uh I think wheel work or some kind of a mega mechanical shop um, and they didn't want to do it i dropped by i showed them the parts i said hey how much it costs for a label just to change this out and they were like no we don't do that you gotta take it to somewhere else 
so I found this uh, local down the street right here uh, Asian Chinese you know mechanic shop and they wanted to do it and they told me it only cost hundred bucks but I don't know I, I I think it might cost more but I agree to it um, so I made an appointment today to drop it off later this uh, this afternoon or evening uh, but anyway before I drop it off I wanted to kind of show you guys really quick uh, before this thing get fixed I hope they could do it uh, I don't know if they know how to fix this but when I'm watching that video it looked like it's, it's not that easy uh, I mean it's pretty straightforward to change the sensor it's just that there's a lot of tedious you had to like I think the video mentioned about this like five degrees of open window that if you make a mistake you pretty much need a whole new sensor so I didn't want to take the risk I rather pay that hundred bucks um, it's not confirmed yet verbally he told me it's hundred bucks but never know you know how those mechanic is when they open up there's more stuff issues if they made a mistake or something happened they'll probably charge you more but uh, I'll give it a try anyway so if you guys have like a full escape uh, with similar steering wheel palm um, just let me know uh, well leave a comments below maybe you guys have uh, maybe if you guys have already fixed it or you guys did it yourself um, Yeah, share your experience like how How was it? You know uh, if it was easy if it's hard if you guys think that I should have done it myself um, I think one issues that I have That prevent me from doing it is that I I really don't have the tool for it. Yeah um, I mean it's pretty straightforward. I have those socket for you know standard millimeter socket and then um, screwdriver and flathead but I just don't have um, those I don't know what you call it, the diamond shape or you know those T5 uh, screws or nuts to remove it or, or wrench to remove it so that's why and the steering column you know I definitely don't want to mess with that because if you make mistake on it uh, yeah, most likely your car cannot, you can't even drive anymore. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it's nice to talk to you guys again. I haven't posted any video for a long time, maybe four or five months, three months, or something like that. So, anyway, I'll see you guys. Bye.